Welcome to my YouTube channel called Eat Your Backyard where I talk about edible landscaping that you can do in your backyard. Today I want to tell you about a very interesting plant. I actually made one other video about it, uh, how to eat the fruit. That video is also available on Eat Your Backyard. This plant has large, beautiful leaves. Some people refer to them as Swiss cheese leaves. It's native to South Central America. Um, it has become invasive, I've heard, in Hawaii. Uh, it's called Monstera Delicioso because uh, it is absolutely delicious. And it, to me, it tastes like a mix between banana and um, pineapple. Now the plant in this video was purchased at Walmart, believe it or not, locally where I live in Florida, uh, for about five dollars and it was a tiny little sprout uh, with leaves not much bigger than your hand. Planted it in a wind protected, somewhat shady area, a place that gets partial sunlight and it did quite well. You can see in this video the fruit which is about two months away from ripening. This plant is about 10 years old at this point. In future videos, I'm going to uh, show you how to cultivate this plant. I'm going to do that by taking cuttings from this plant. Uh, it's ready to be trimmed back a bit. But I want to do that after I get the fruit. I'll also probably make a video about harvesting the fruit. This particular plant in the video has been given no special fertilization other than regular lawn fertilizer. Uh, you can see the leaves are a bit, a bit burned. Uh, here you can see one of the casings that uh, the fruit grows out of uh, once it flowers. But the reason that the leaves are burned like that is because this particular plant is very susceptible to cold temperatures. It doesn't like anything you know, much below 40 degrees and uh, if it gets below 40 degrees you're going to see a lot of burning on the leaves. You can see it's kind of in a corner here. Uh, that'd be a preferred location. Some people do grow them up palm trees and they look I think really great that way. That's one great way to do it. In this case it's just growing along the ground. This plant can also be grown as an indoor plant but don't expect any fruit if you grow it that way in, in a pot. Of course, that's one great way to protect it from the cold. One more interesting detail about this plant is that it really does like a high humidity environment. So if you live in a more arid location, uh, this probably isn't going to be an easy plant to grow at all. However, down in Florida, Hawaii, Central South America, this plant will grow very well. In fact, it has the potential to become somewhat invasive, as I mentioned. Now back to the fruit a little bit. Uh, the fruit in this plant has a type of acid in it and uh, almost um, a type of uh, thorniness in the fruit that only dissipates or lessens once it's very ripe. And you really need to watch that video uh, about how to eat the fruit to, to do it correctly. Some people consider it to be uh, somewhat poisonous and uh, I found eating too much of it, it will actually burn the skin on your lips. It can cause some people to have bleeding. So. This is a plant that you really want to get a good idea of how to deal with it before you jump right in and start trying to eat it. The way that it looks in this video, it is nowhere near ready. Uh, it'll get at least the size of a large ear of corn in terms of its diameter when, it's, when it is ready. The scales are an interesting geometric pattern. As you can see here, it looks somewhat alien. And uh, it does ripen from the base, which you're looking at here, from the base of the fruit upwards. And it will not all ripen at once, it will slowly ripen from the base up. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, Eat Your Backyard. Thanks for watching.